Hello, welcome to the Ingleside Public Library's Virtual Sleep Tight Storytime. Tonight's book will be Mother Bruce by Ryan Higgins. Bruce was a bear who lived all by himself. He was a grump. He did not like sunny days. He did not like rain. He did not like cute little animals. Bruce only liked one thing, eggs. He collected them from all over the forest. Good morning, Miss Sparrow. But Bruce didn't eat eggs raw like other bears. Instead, he cooked them into fancy recipes that he found on the internet. One day, Bruce came across a recipe for hard-boiled eggs drizzled with honey, salmon, and sauce. So, he went out to get the ingredients. First, he caught a few salmon. Then he collected honey from a local beehive. He liked to support local businesses, you see. Last, he went to Mrs. Goose's nest to pay her a visit. Are these eggs free range organic, he asked. At home, Bruce prepared the eggs for hard boiling. When Bruce came back, he was met with a welcome surprise. But the fire in his stove fizzled, so he went out to get more wood. became the victim of mistaken identity. Uh-oh. Bruce wanted hard-boiled eggs, not goslins. He supposed he could settle for buttered goslins on, on toast, but for some reason, he lost his appetite. Bruce scooped up the little geese and stomped back to their nest, only to find Miss Goose had flown south early. I will have to ask Miss Goose about her return policy, he asked. Bruce left the goslings there anyway and went back home. But he was followed Mama, Mama! Bruce was very stern and said things like, Go away! And I'm not your mother. And also, I liked you better when you were eggs. Bruce couldn't, could take it no longer and became extra grumpy with them. Roar! It didn't work. Gossings always follow their mother, even if she is a he and he is a bear. Bruce was stuck with him. He tried to make the best of it. Sometimes that's all you can do is just make the best out of a situation. It was hard work.
the Gosslings didn't like his cooking, apparently. This one says, bleh, ew, and yes. <laughs> As the seasons pass, Bruce watched the pesky Gosslings grow older. Annoying baby geese, stubborn teenage geese, boring adult geese. Then one fall afternoon, he saw other goose family flying south. Finally, he'd be rid of these geese, and he could take a long winter's nap. Bruce explained migration, but they didn't listen. Bruce needed these geese to leave, so he got creative. <laughs> Nothing worked. The geese would not leave Bruce. Ugh, said Bruce. So Bruce decided to pack some bags and take the geese into town. They boarded the bus. And migrated to Miami. Miami, excuse me. Now every winter, Bruce and his geese head south together. They lay about at the beach in tacky shirts, sipping ice cold lemonade while Bruce dreams of new recipes, recipes that don't hatch. <laughs> Mama! So now, this goose know, is gonna know what it's gonna feel like because this baby thinks He's a mama. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed this book. Uh, if you like it, go to your local library and check it out. But for now, good night and sleep tight.